Hello all, welcome to Oracle Cloud ERP technical trainings. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we invoke an Oracle Cloud ERP SOAP web surface from ICS. There are a number of ways to invoke it, but I'm using a SOAP WSDL rather than using the cloud adapter. So there are two connections. One is input request connection, and another one is a SOAP WSDL connection and the integration. And this is a request payload, which I am passing to the web service, nothing but ICS. And this is a response I'm getting from the ICS integration. So let me go through the connection and the integration. So, yeah. So I have two connections I explained to you. So let us let me go through the connection details one by one. So the first connection is, the first connection is, you know, like a Sriram SaaS supplier REST connection. REST request connection. So this is a trigger connection. It doesn't have any information inside it, just a type as trigger, that's it. So there is no input parameters, there is no WSDL, there is no REST API, there is no credentials. Just a simple invocation purpose, trigger purpose, we are using it. And the other one is SOAP connection of Oracle Cloud ERP for the supplier, right? So CRAM SOAP supplier connection. And here, if you observe, I have mentioned the WSDL and the type as trigger and invoke and the credentials, username and password. Now let's get into the integration. So in the integration, Sriram supplier SOAP integration. So here, here if you observe, I have two connections and two mappings, right? The first connection is our, this one. What is the first connection we have to mention? We have to mention this particular request connection, supplier REST request connection. Click on this and yeah, it is already active, right? That's the reason you cannot see in a edit mode. I'll just click on view mode. So let's start with the basic information. And here I mentioned slash in the endpoint URL and the action has put. And also I selected a request payload, no input parameters, just considering a request payload, right? And also a response stuff from this one. And what is the request I'm passing to this one? I'm passing a request as a JSON format. I mentioned in the document here, there are three parameters. So the supplier SOAP web service of Oracle Cloud ERP requires three mandatory parameters. I'm just passing only those things. But in general, you may have a larger number of parameters. You have to pass the, pass the data according. That's a request data. Next, coming to the response data. So in the response data, I'm expecting the data from this particular WSDL in a XML format, okay? So what I've done is I have mentioned the response payload like this in XML format with only one element. And that's all. And you can click on close here. Now coming to the next connection, this is the actual SOAP connection. So here, this is my endpoint name and the operation of the WSDL is create supplier. Click on next and no changes here, no attachments to the headers. So cloud operation is create supplier and message exchange pattern is request and response. That's it, no request headers and no response headers. That's it. And here, let's see the first mapping between the supplier request to the create supplier. So click on this one. So we are passing these three parameters which I'm passing from the request to this particular payload. So payload, right? There are three parameters, supplier, tax organization type as well as this one. So now if you see the next mapping, which is providing the response of the SOAP request, right? Click on this mapping. And here, if you observe, so the result which I'm getting the create from the create supplier SOAP response, I am passing to the, I am passing to this particular one, the first request, right? So from the SOAP, I'm getting the response. This is mapped to the initial rest connection. Okay, so now let's close this one. Yeah. So here, if you see this one, click on this gear icon and just click on the endpoint URL. Here, if you observe it clearly tells you how do you invoke it, right? Because the method is put and the request pay sample, it provided the information. And now let's try to invoke from the SOAP UI, right? So this is our connection. Where is that? Endpoint URL. This is our endpoint URL. I'll just copy this. I already have in a SOAP UI, but I'll just copy it again. And what is the information here? This was a request payload. I'll just copy this request payload. This username would have been there already, but better what I can do is I'll just rename it, okay? Click enter here so that I can see the data properly, yeah. Okay, now I'll just say, mention some username, ICS hyphen demo hyphen one. I'll just click on this one. I entered credentials of ICS already, so that will not ask me. Let's see the response. Yeah, I got the response as success already because I don't see any, uh, what you call invocation action here. So it means that it got executed. 
So I can go to my Oracle Cloud ERP and I can refresh the procurement page. I should see the ICS uh, supplier which I created, right? So we can try again. Let's say I'll just remove the response now. I'll mention it as, uh, I'll just mention as two. Okay, let's see it. Yeah, that is now invoking. So when it's yeah, finished, it will stop this invocation process. It's success. And now refresh here again. You should see the ICS demo to supplier here, right? Perfect. So we are in this particular demo, we have shown you how do we invoke a SOAP web service from ICS, okay? Thank you.